Scientists say that Boulder County homes fell like dominoes as the Marshall Fire spread from one house to the next. And our work on the science is to find those ways so that in, if something ignites, we don't see that domino. We don't see that tipping event. Research engineers with the Institute for Business and Home Safety say there is no such thing as a fireproof home, but you can make your home wildfire resilient, which means it has a better chance to resist wildfire. And they say the key is creating a five foot defensible perimeter around your house. The five feet that surround the structure need to be entirely non-combustible, entirely. Nothing in that space that can burn. That means no trees, shrubs, or bushes, no wood mulch, no firewood piles, no garden hoses. Debris must be cleared from all nooks and gutters, and patio furniture must be non-combustible. At their lab in South Carolina, IBHS scientists recreate wildfire conditions to see how accumulating embers ignite homes. We've actually done research here in the lab to say, well, is five feet just enough? Should it be seven feet? with three feet be okay. Research engineer Dan Gorham says the effectiveness of the five foot defensible zone is proven. Fences are also a part of that perimeter. IBHS teams found evidence in the Marshall fire that flames used wooden privacy fences as a pathway to spread between homes. That's another issue that they've been researching in their lab. Recreations show that fences act like matchsticks that are directly attached to homes. We're looking for product innovation um, manufacturers that can create fences that both achieve what the homeowner wants, that privacy fence look, but also are made of non-combustible materials, which we know are really important for wildfire resistance. Gorham says a fully non-combustible fence would be ideal, but you can protect your house by just replacing a five foot section of the wooden fence where it's connected to your house with metal fencing. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, Nine News.